Hey, Monte, uh, their bench uh, obviously got the best of you guys in game one. What was your guys' mentality going into tonight, and why do you guys think you kind of flipped that advantage? Um, we just knew our sense of urgency had to be better. We didn't want to go down to Portland uh, 2-0, um, and we came out with great energy from jump and uh, was able to get the job done tonight. Nick Cosmiter, The Athletic. Monte, second quarter, um, second quarter, Damian Lillard, uh, 22 points, hits, hits, uh, he hits eight threes in the first half. As he's kind of in that sort of mode, is it just about kind of like, you know, surviving that and just kind of keep playing the next play? When a guy is going off like that as a defender, what, what's sort of your mindset? I mean, it's, Dam it's Damian Lillard, man. Everybody in the world know how great of a score he is, how quick he can heat up, you know. Um, and we all know that going into the series and – you know, he gonna have spurts like that, but we just gotta withstand it and and uh, really just keep doing us. You know, once he got hot, we kind of um, was calling timeouts and then we got our stuff together and kept running Denver Nuggets basketball and and we were staying the storm. So uh, we know him, CJ, um, our guys who can get it going in bunches. So we just gotta be ready for it every time and try to do our best. Harrison Wynn, DNVR. Hey, Monte, the, the physicality tonight and those few dust-ups that happen, is that something you expected uh, to kind of take place over the course of this series going up against Portland? And did that stuff kind of get you going um, and get your, your team going at all? Yeah, um, you know, I think we answer adversity very well all the time, um, especially, you know, with, you know, with our previous times against them. You know, you get tired of seeing the team as much as we see Portland. So that can have a way of playing. We got so many rivals and battle games um, out there. So them engaging with us, I'm sure we kind of update uh, their mentality to be tougher. But I think tonight, you know, we won a battle as far as just toughness and right from jump, man, we were screening better than game one, five minutes into the game and it, and it, and it played a, a great factor all the way through. Brandon Cristal, KOA. Monte, I know you've played a lot of basketball. I'm sure you've had a lot of big plays. You're just talking about how great Dame is. Uh, will you file that block on him away in the back of your head? Is, is that rank as one of your favorite plays, at least in a while? Mm -hmm. I mean, it was a good play, good take. Uh, I made a good play on the ball. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm not the guy to judge my plays, but if I like the play, you know, that when I took a charge on Nurk um, to get the block, I think that charge on Nurk, how big he is and just being there on time. We've been preaching it in practice over and over, being there in the low man early. Um, that was a huge, a huge stop and a huge possession um, overall. Rush, Forbes. Hey, Monte, uh, coach said he had lifted your minutes restriction because it was the playoffs. Uh, do you feel like you've rounded back into form and you got your legs back under you now? Yeah, I always was feeling good. Um, you know, they was just doing, you know, they right protocol as they should. Um, and I was just having to be patient and wait um, to I was able to play more than um, like 18 minutes a game. Um, you know, me and coach had a talk and he told me he was going to play me a lot more tonight. So I, my main focus was just trying to be productive with the time I did have. And yeah, it feels good, you know, not to have to plan spurts and play on minute restrictions. So I feel fine. Um, I'm just ready to keep going. I know it's going to be a very long and tiring, you know, series, but, you know, got to bring it. Anna Garcia, DNVR, or excuse me, Denver Stiffs. Hey, Monte, you mentioned rivalries in this matchup, and we all kind of know the history about that Melo has here in Denver. Seems like you were in his ear a little bit there or maybe throughout the game. What was going on between you two? Uh, Melo is a, a great friend of mine. Um, I mean, he's real cool. We talk a lot. Um, so it wasn't no, no bad, you know, back and forth exchange. Just, you know, just smirks and just talking, just competing, man. Um, you know, lots of respect, future Hall of Famer to him. And, uh, you know, he, he gave me a lot of advice uh, throughout the year. So, yeah, Melo's a guy where if we chirping, it's all love because, you know, we talk almost uh, well, a lot. So, yeah, that's just all basketball competing. 
Mike Singer, Denver Post. Hey, Monte, uh, can you describe the impact that Sha Shaq Harrison had on Dame in the first half uh, and then Aaron Gordon had on him in the second half? Yeah, I mean, Shaq, you know, he's a, a elite defender. And, you know, for a guy to just only play like one minute in the first half, you know, it's the norm for you to be like, oh, I'm not playing tonight. You know, and then come in and just be lax. But, you know, he came in and brought it from jump. That just show you how professional, you know, you got to be and how he is, you know, and he going to play a, a long time in this league. Um, that little stuff like that don't go unnoticed. And we need that going forward. And, you know, also Aaron, just with his limp, he took the challenge on guard Dame. He slowed him down, man. Dame only made one three in the second half. So um, just giving him different looks, man. He's a hell of a player. We can't give him the same doses every night, you know, every possession. He's going to pick us apart. So I think we did a great job. And, uh, you know, we just like, got to keep the same energy. It's going to be a tough environment down in Portland, but we got to stay together and we'll be fine. Ralph Haynes, three-point conversion. Hey, Mate. Coach talked about the – you all went into 50-50 balls and the plays. Was that a point of emphasis coming in tonight, knowing how well Portland played game one? I mean, every game, we want to win a 50-50 battle. We want to win the deflection. We want to win the contest. But sometimes, you know, it's not your night. But tonight, like you said, it definitely was an emphasis. Um, I feel like we dictated how physical the game would be played. We got some illegal screens called. Um, which was good. You know, we let the refs know just how we plan the night. So it was kind of easier for us to play the game physical all night. Um, so um, the 50-50 balls and the deflections was easier to come about because we was already in rhythm with a physical mindset. Esteban Abed. Kai Monte from Cordoba, Argentina. Congrats for the win. It's great to see you play more minutes game after game. Uh, about the contribution of Faku, uh, Marcus Howard, uh, Shaq in his first uh, games of playoff, how do you feel, how do you see his performance? Uh, I mean, we bust our tail, and, you know, those guys get up extra shots all the time and, you know, watching film and everything. Um, Faku, uh, you know, he's a, one of the hardest workers and competitive guys I know. Um, taking pride on both ends, running the team and things like that. Marcus, you know, he's a guy who can make 53s in a row up here. Um, so he's been waiting on his opportunity. And, you know, it's just you got to be ready. You know, it's a professional league, next man up mentality. Um, and guys stepped up, you know. So I'm happy for him and also Shaq just getting up extra shots. It shows and just confidence and just doing what bringing your best version of yourself. That's all Coach asks. And uh, that's what we got to do to be successful in this series. All right, Monte, we got time for one more. We're going to end with Leonardo Torres. Hi, Monte. It's Leonardo Torres from Peru. Congrats on the win. Monte, what are the positive aspects that you take away from these first two games of the series, thinking about the next two on the road? Uh, you know, let me look at the rebound here. Uh... I would just say uh, just trying to repeat the same pattern, man, just playing hard, playing selfless, playing for yourself. Um, you know, it's not, you know, coincidence that we won tonight. We played very well and we played together um, with great energy. So if we can pack that up on a plane with us and uh, play down there in Portland, we should give ourselves a great chance. You know, game one, we gave up plenty threes, not rotating, not making that extra effort. So, um no tell the tape. So if you just try to break down game one and game two, we want to play more game two-ish, more pace, and uh, give ourselves an opportunity late. All right, that'll do it. Thank you, Monte.